New information now in the death of former state representative Cora Faith Walker. The 37-year-old was found unresponsive outside a hotel room earlier this month. Some elected leaders have called for an investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death. Five on your side's Christine Byers is here now with new details from the city's public safety director. Christine, what do we know? Public Safety Director Dan Isom says a preliminary toxicology report on Walker has come back. He referred all questions about it to the medical examiner's office. However, multiple sources tell Five on Your Side the report shows there were no drugs in Walker's system, but the medical examiner said he will not be able to determine her cause of death until a final toxicology report is completed. On the morning of March 12th, an EMS crew was called to Live by Lowe's Hotel in downtown St. Louis for a potential cardiac arrest. Walker was pronounced dead an hour later at SSM Health St. Louis University Hospital. The night before her death, Walker attended Mayor Tashara Jones's birthday party. Walker also served as a top aide to St. Louis County Executive Sam Page. Some have called for a closer look into the circumstances surrounding her death. A St. Louis police spokesman told the I-Team there is no police investigation. And today, Public Safety Director Dan Isom had this to say about the case. Unfortunately, many have jumped to conclusions based on rumors, innuendo, and allegations with no facts to support their reporting. It's a sad commentary for individuals who manufacture controversy out of tragedy. Now, there are still those who want answers. County Councilman Tim Fitch is calling on the Missouri State Highway Patrol to conduct an investigation to determine if any official misconduct or criminal acts happened before her death. Kay? All right. Thank you so much, Christine.